Richard Dick Gordon was born in Seattle on October 5, 1929, the oldest of five children. A star athlete in high school, Dick graduated from the University of Washington in 1951 with a degree in chemistry. A dentist, chemist, and even the priesthood were career interests for Dick, but soon after joining the Navy, he fell in love with aviation. After attending the Navy's test pilot school in 1957, Dick conducted flight test work on several aircraft, including the F-8U Crusader and A-4D Skyhawk. Dick was the first project test pilot for the F-4H-1 Phantom II and led the introduction of that aircraft to the Atlantic and Pacific fleets. Dick won the Bendix Trophy race from Los Angeles to New York City in May 1961 and set a transcontinental speed record of 869.74 miles per hour in two hours, 47 minutes in an F-4 Phantom. In October 1963, Dick was selected as one of the third group of astronauts named by NASA. In September 1966, he made his first space flight as pilot of Gemini 11 with Pete Conrad setting an orbit altitude record of 851 miles. On that flight, Dick performed two spacewalks for a total of two hours, 41 minutes. In November 1969, he flew as command module pilot of Apollo 12. Two, one, zero, all engines running, commit, liftoff. Just after liftoff, Dick and his crew dodged catastrophe. When all cockpit displays went down due to lightning strikes. Okay, we just lost the platform, gang. I don't know what happened here. We had everything in the world drop out. Roger. Now yeah, there are problems here. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm not sure you hit by lightning. Quick thinking from Mission Control saved the day, the crew, and the mission. I think we need to do a little more all weather testing. Amen. After the success of Apollo 12, Dick was slated to be commander of Apollo 18, but the mission was canceled due to budget cuts. In 1971, Dick was made chief of advanced programs in the astronaut office and worked on the design and application of the space shuttle. Dick retired from NASA and the U.S. Navy in January 1972. He served as executive vice president of the New Orleans Saints and later held executive positions at several companies in the oil and gas, engineering, and technology industries. Dick's life came to an end on November 6, 2017. Tonight, we welcome business executive, aviator, and astronaut Richard Gordon to the National Aviation Hall of Fame.